Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about order of operations for fillets. I'm pretty sure you heard the term many times in mathematics. The same concept applies to surfacing. So the basic rule of thumb is you always, almost always want to go from large to small. So right now I have a cube like this and I'm just going to go ahead and put fillets on all of them. So uh, following the rule, I'm going to go ahead and do the bigger one first. So I'm just going to put 200 over here like this. So it's going to be chord, it's going to be G2 quarter length, and it's going to be quarter length of 200 and form factor one. And it's, uh, and it's done like this. And now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, half size, and I'm just going to put a fillet over here like this, and that's done. And as you can see, um, yes, the corner does have a, quite a lot of spans, but it was pretty easy. Um, it took almost no time and because I'm following the order of operations. Now, let's reverse the situation. And I'm going to make this not 200, but 100. And I'm going to try and put 200 fillet on top of it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all of these surfaces over here. And I'm going to say 200 like this. And as you can see, it doesn't build. Well, it's sort of built, but it's, as you can see, the corner is absolutely useless. It's doing something weird, and that's what happens. Now, there is a way to do it. So what you can do is you can just individually build it, uh, these fillets over here. So I'm just going to make it extend over here, and I'm going to do the same thing over here, like that. And let's just go ahead and extend this one a little bit over here. And I'm going to put a corner blend here. So I'm just going to say G2 base radius of 30 for this one. Let's try that. Of course, explicit control should be on. So I'm going to say click on three corners over here or three fillets. I'm going to say accept. I'm going to pick the top surface over here and I'm going to say accept. It does build and it's actually pretty clean, but rarely do you get a clean situation like this. And so that's why you always want to go from large to small. Now, but let's pretend that the designers uh, or designer or designers want you to create an equal size fillet between all the surfaces. If that's the case, what do you do? Now, if that's a, uh, if that is the situation, then what you want to do is you want to evaluate the angles between the surfaces. So as you can see over here, the angle between this one and this one is actually quite open. And same thing over here as well. Whereas these ones, it's a little bit larger than 90 degrees and same thing with this one. So what you wanna do is in this case, you want to uh, do the fillets on the surfaces with the larger angles first. So what I'm going to do is, well, let's do about 100 for this one. I'm going to do this one first because it's got the most open angle. I'm going to do the same thing over here. That's pretty good. And now I'm just going to run it across all of these surfaces with the same size fillet. And there it is. Now it's not perfect, but as you can see over here, it actually built it. Now the lines are a little bit squiggly. Uh, that's probably due to the fact that it's set to auto and it's not, well, basically the surface between this one and this one is a little bit off. So I think that's probably why. Okay, so that actually made it all quite a lot better, and that works. Now let's uh, let's reverse this uh, order and let's do this one first and this one first and do these ones later and let's see what happens. So I'm just going to put 100 over here like this. Do the same thing over here. So as you can see, these have a closer angle, a smaller angle between the surfaces. So I'm doing those first and I'm just going to drag it across. And again, I'm gonna put a quarter length of 100 and nothing happens. So obviously there's some kind of error. So I'm just going to try and maybe do one at a time. Actually, that one's pretty good. That's not too bad. But as you can see, well, the, this one this really doesn't build. And if I were to just select these two and it just creates something weird like this. So again, if you have a situation like this where the designer wants a similar size fillets first or similar size fillets on all the edges, you always want to check the angle and do those surface uh, fillets between the, uh, the surfaces with the uh, most open angle. 
and that's usually going to give you a much better result. All right, so that is the order of operations for fillets. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.